Let's talk about some iPhone settings to turn off now. We've got some new iOS 15 settings as well as some older iPhone settings that have a way of getting turned back on after those major iOS updates. Sneaky. Sneaky settings. Those are the ones that they want you to have on, but we tell you to turn them off. Let's dive in. What's the first one? First one, the big one, allow apps to ask to track. Right. Huge. Facebook hates this. They setting. hate it so much they bought full page ads in the Washington <laughs> Post, the New York Times, all sorts of news. This is crazy. So let's open the settings app, scroll down and tap privacy, and then tap on tracking. Allow apps to request a track. Do you want to allow certain apps to track you as you use other apps or visit websites in your iPhone? Right. Crazy. Probably so, not. Yeah, no, of course not. Why do they want to track you? So they can gather personality data about you, what you like, things you're interested in, so that companies like Facebook can sell advertising to you. Hey, it's mental. No, Use. What do you do? Turn off this switch at the top of the screen next to allow apps to request a track now. They can't track you at all. And you'll see if you had any apps previously, if you gave them permission before, it'll say allow those apps to continue tracking or ask apps to stop tracking. You want to tap ask apps to stop tracking. See you later, Reddit. Nice yep. try. Try to track me now across multiple Price. apps and websites. You don't need to know how to do that. What's the next one? Yep. Next, we'll go back to the main page of privacy and settings and tap on location services at the top of the screen. Here you'll see a list of all your apps and what you really want to look out for is the word always. Always means that that app is allowed to track you, your GPS location all the time. So that is a big battery drainer and a big no-no. Yeah, while using generally okay. Yep. Never, they don't use your location at all. Yeah, exactly. So, while using is the safe one. So scrolling down, we have an always here. It is SefQ, it is my credit union. Do they need access to my location all the time? No. No. Is this nefarious? No. No, I think, it, you know, the SFQ app designers might not have been the best. Yeah, small town bank, small town app developers. Yeah, so tap on that app. And then just pick anything else. I mean, for SefQ, really, the answer is probably never for me. Yeah, but, why does your bank need to do that? I mean, ATM locations is one thing. That, right, if you were to use that app. But, but then you can just always come back in here yeah. and turn stuff back on. This is not going to break an app. So really, really just look out for always. Those are the bad ones, the big battery The big trainers. bad, yep. So we tap back to location services and scroll down here. Next up, we're going to tap on system services. Oh We've my got gosh. a lot of switches turned on here, and we want to turn off most of them. Right, real quick. Solid purple arrow means it's tracking your location now. Gray means it's tracked your location in the last 24 hours. Hollow purple arrow geofencing, checking to see whether you're entering a certain area or leaving a certain area to give you alerts or whatever. Geofencing, huge battery drainer. Yep, so the main ones that we recommend leaving on are emergency calls and SOS, find my iPhone, and networking and wireless. Compass calibration. Yeah. Who uses the compass? If you, even, even if you do use the compass, I mean, GPS, whatever. Um, even if you do, it's still going to work. This is just calibration. Setting time zone. Just Unless you're going through different time zones, like David just was recently. Yeah. Well, I had it off, and I turned it on, and then the time zone got changed. Yeah, that's what you do. Then I turned the switch back off again. It's really yeah. cool. And then, so down here we have Wi-Fi calling. We've got some comments. If I turn off this switch, will Wi-Fi calling stop working? No. No, not almost, at all. Almost certainly not. No, it's certainly not. What it is, is that there are certain settings for Wi-Fi calling that have to change based on what country you're in. So if you're going to a different country, you might want to turn this on because then it'll change a couple of configuration things automatically. But just leave it off. Yep, down here you'll see significant locations. Tap right on that, I got the face ID. I have no locations here, I just turned this on for the purposes of this video, but if you had this setting on, you'd probably see a long list of places you've been recently. It's weird and it's a battery drainer. Absolutely, how do we turn it off, David? Well, you just tap that switch, significant there you go. locations, then tap turn off, Right. done. Okay. Done. Save some battery, no yep. weird lists. Back to? Back to system services, and we're gonna come down here, under product improvement, iPhone analytics, <laughs> right. no. Routing and traffic, no. no. Improved maps, lost cause. Lost cause, I don't even apples, know. Yeah. apples, yeah. So there's just no chance. Yep. Why even turn it on? We did it, we made it through the location services settings. However, there are a couple more privacy settings we need to turn off. So tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen, then tap privacy and scroll down to analytics and improvements. All these switches, turn them off. Turn them off, but turn off the top one first because a lot of the time, 
that will get rid of the other switches completely. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Boom. battery drainer. And it can use a little bit of cellular data too, sending this information to right. Apple. Right. And if you're, you know, thinking, oh, how much could it be? Just look in analytics data. There's a lot of data that's been yeah. getting sent. I mean, tons of these these, these files can be. Oh, it's close settings. Oh dear. Yep. Aggressive swiping. That's all right. You'd have to be aggressive. You're not even halfway there. I think you get the point. Yep. There's a lot of stuff in there. Let's tap back to the privacy page one more time. Tap on Apple advertising, then turn off the switch next to personalized ads. It says by turning this off, you won't reduce the number of ads you receive. That might not necessarily be true. The less information advertisers have about you, the less valuable you are, the less likely they'll send you an ad. Right, because every time you see an ad, there was a bidding war for you, specifically based on your interests. And as David said, if they don't know about you, they can't bid for you. Yeah, one more quick privacy setting. Let's tap back, upper left-hand corner of the screen. Tap on research sensor and usage data, and then just turn off this sensor and usage data collection. Bit of a battery drainer, kind of like those iPhone analytics, just in a different section of the settings app. Indeed, yep. So, is that it? In the That's it for privacy. privacy. Hold on, we have so many more settings. Before we do, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please subscribe. Please give this video yeah, a give us up. a Give us a like. Give us a like. Give us a like. Give us a like. Give it to us. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. Scroll down and tap mail. Quick detour, new iOS 15 setting, privacy protection. Tap on that. Just make sure this switch is on. I know this is a turn off video. This switch, turn it on. Right. Make sure it's on. It's on by default. Very cool. Tap back to mail, then tap on accounts, then tap fetch new data. Turn off push at the top. With push mail, your iPhone maintains a constant connection to your email server. And so it's basically saying, is there mail? Is there mail? Is there mail? Is there mail? And with fetch, you get to choose how often your iPhone checks to see if there's new mail. So for most people, every 30 minutes is totally fine. We should also say that anytime you open up the mail app, it'll fetch that new mail for you. Right. So, so you're not even going to notice a difference. Not going to notice it at all. Except in your battery life. Yeah. Boom. Much improved. Yep. This one is, has a way of life. turning itself back on too especially with push. So the way that David has this set up with iCloud on push, absolutely perfect. Turn the other ones to fetch, absolutely perfect. Our next setting is for 5G iPhones only. So if you don't have a 5G iPhone, timestamps in the description to skip right to the next step. But we've got an iPhone 12. Maybe they're interested because they're, they're about interested. to get one. You might get an iPhone 13 soon. This might be yep, good information you go. for you. Tap on settings. Okay. Tap on your name at the top of the screen. Tap on iCloud. Tap on iCloud backup and look for that backup over cellular switch. I don't know who at Apple had this idea. It's really yeah, bad. It's a terrible idea, yeah. So iCloud backup works every night, connect to Wi-Fi, your iPhone's plugged in, the screen's off, it'll back up to iCloud. But for some reason, they wanna be able to do it over 5G, which is just gonna burn through your cellular data plan. Even unlimited data plans have high speed data caps. So why do we need to do this over 5G? You don't. It makes no sense. Turn that Turn switch it off. right Unless off. Unless you, you know, I mean, this may cause you to exceed your cellular data plan. They're I mean, telling you Apple's right telling you right there. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Stupid. Yeah. Unbelievable. So this one's for all iPhone users. Similarly, iCloud. Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. Scroll up and tap on cellular. Then scroll all the way down to the very bottom. A lot of apps. Turn off this switch next to iCloud Drive. When not connected to Wi-Fi, your iPhone will use your cellular network to transfer documents and data. That could use a whole ton of your data. Yeah, especially if you're using iCloud Drive. Just, I mean, it's not like the stuff's gonna disappear. It's just gonna be on your phone until you connect to Wi-Fi later that day. Turn that switch right Turn it off, off. it's a no-brainer. Did we ask you to like the video earlier? Well, if you gave us a like, then you can give us a subscribe. And we would really appreciate it. Lovely. See how we asked for something small first and now we're asking for something just a little bit, a little more. Well, bigger. let's go back to the main page of the settings app again. Let's talk about photos. This is a setting that we don't talk about often enough and I don't think anyone really talks about the setting all that much. They don't. Photos. We're going to tap on cellular data and make sure this switch is off. Turn off cellular data to restrict updates to Wi-Fi, including shared albums and iCloud photos. Right, so you're taking photos, you're taking videos. These are giant files. I mean, we're talking like hundreds of megabytes per minute here with videos. And then your iPhone is gonna use your entire cellular data plan, uploading them to iCloud photos instead of just waiting until you're on Wi-Fi later that, later that day. 12 seconds later. And really be careful about unlimited updates too. If you think cellular data is bad, unlimited updates a lot 
worse. Terrible. Just I mean, Apple is saying this may cause you to exceed your cellular data plan. I think that Verizon went to Apple and they were like, hey guys, <laughs> can you do us a solid and build in some features that are gonna use our customers' data yeah. plans instantly? Collusion. Yep. Possibly. Who knows? Let's go back to the main page of the settings app. We're gonna tap on Safari. You gotta scroll up to get there, Safari. Preload top hit. Sounds innocuous. What does that mean? Well, it's gonna load the data on that first top hit Google search number one ranking. You're on a web page, and then it's gonna be loading another web page, assuming that you're gonna to go yeah. to that web page next. That page is full of photos, potentially videos. It's just downloading it. It's gonna use a little bit of cellular data if you're it's not on a web page. It's gonna use battery, cellular data. Yeah. People used to leave comments. Would the blonde guy please stop interrupting the dark haired guy? I'll stop. Turn off that preload top hit switch, then come down. I'm pretty sure this is a new iOS 15 setting. It's closed tabs. Now, if you're like me, you are a serial tab leave opener. Right. You leave a lot of tabs open. Preserver. Right? Preserver. I checked earlier today. I had 25 tabs open. It, there were like, you know, 12 of them were ESPN all on the same page because I didn't just go back and close the tab. Right. So manually do it yourself. You get out of control tab. You got tabs for years. Tabs for years. Uh, one month. I'm gonna set that to one month. Any of these options, they'll close your tabs automatically. And it might actually speed up your iPhone too, because if you have all these Definitely. tabs open in Safari in the background, you know, you got a thousand tabs open, it's gonna start to slow down. Yeah, or like my mom with 400 tabs open. I showed her how to do it though, and now she's on top of it. All over it. All over it. Let's talk about a classic battery saving tip. All right, background we... <laughs> app refresh. <laughs> background app refresh. To get there, Tap Safari, upper left-hand corner of the screen, tap back to settings, scroll up, and tap on general. Then tap background app refresh. First thing, top of the screen, tap on background app refresh. Make sure that Wi-Fi is selected again. If Wi-Fi and cellular data is selected, it's gonna use uh -oh. your data. Yeah, background app refresh allows apps to download new content in the background of your iPhone, even when you're not using them. So if you turn this off for an app like ESPN, you're it's not gonna download the sports scores automatically, right. but it will as soon as you open the app. So you're not really gonna see a difference. This is like a tiny little difference, but it can save you a lot of data. There are apps where you might want this, you know, messaging apps, especially you want Absolutely. those messages to be there when you open up the app. So to scroll through this list of apps, which apps do I want to download new content in the background of my iPhone? How about the Ballpark app? Not a chance. Not a chance. Not How a about chance. eBay, really? eBay? eBay? Uh, no. Nah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Facebook. Facebook. Maybe Facebook is a yes, but I, I don't, know how much data I would just not. Thanks for watching this video. Those are some iPhone 15 settings to turn off now. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. last one. It was over before it began. Yeah. Wow. If you enjoyed this video, you'll really enjoy our iOS 15 settings to turn on now. Where Let's we go through all the same settings yeah. and turn them. No, they're different they're settings. They're very different. There's actually one that's the same. Right. But we mentioned that. We before. mentioned that. So yeah. thanks for watching. Please join this channel. We'd really appreciate that as well. Thanks.